got bongo. You got West African crown crane. And there's the bongos. The little kids there. And the larger one is actually not his mom. That's actually probably the dad because he has horns. And the females don't have horns, and only the males do. And his horns, so his horns are actually shorter than the other. Because it's trimmed. You can see the West African crown cranes right here. Two of them. Right here by the water. In the shade where it's nice and cool for them. And got African serval cat. Nice, the serval cat's habitat. Yeah. And I am looking for them, but I don't see them anywhere at the moment. Okay, so apparently it does not seem like the serval cat's out right now. So hopefully, if I have time, I'll try and check back later if I have time to. We got mandrel. And the mandrel's right there on the tree there. It's minding his own business. Really massive. With the blue vivid on his face right there. It's so beautiful. We got African lion. I'm trying to find the lion and I don't see him right now. He's gotta be here somewhere. Alright, so right now it does not seem like the African lions are out right now. It is really hot right now, so if I have time, I'll check back later if I have time to. We got Grant Zebra. You see the Grant Zebra right here in the shade, having some hay. The snack of hay. We got two more zebras in the back there. This is the Grand Zebra second habitat. They do have access to come into their other habitat whenever they want, so that's why you can see the third one came into his other habitat. Get the snack of hay. We got Cape Hunting Dog. Okay, so I do not see the cape hunting dogs, but I'm gonna try and find them. Okay, so I found the cape hunting dogs. They're right over there taking a nap. It's so cute. Now I'm pretty sure that the cape hunting dogs are probably the same as the African painted dogs or the African wild dogs. look a lot like them. I think they are definitely the same. Okay, I'm showing you the map again. This is the paper map that I have. So, so far we've halfway through the zoo. We're right here by Africa. We just did the Cape Hunting Dogs. Now we're going to go in this full loop through Africa. And down here through this blue section here called Indo-Australia. So there's a few other animals that are not from Australia. All right, got the camels. These are all the different types of llamas and alpacas and all the members of the camel family. And I got Arabian or dromedary camel. All right, here's the camel habitat. We got two of them over there in the shade. Ooh, just made a loud grumble. Bird ones just making noises. Oh, yeah, we just made noises. Ooh, we're making all kinds of noises. I don't think I've ever heard a camel made that kind of noise before. Yeah, everyone's making it. They must be having a conversation with each other. We 
and you got Red Ruff Gleamer. Okay, I'm looking for the Red Ruff Gleamer. Doesn't seem like he's out right now, but I'm gonna try and find him. Okay, so it does not seem like the Red Ruff Gleamer is out, so if I have time, I'll see if I can check back later if I have time to. I'm gonna square lip rhinoceros. Uh, I do see them right there. And there is two of them, but the second one's actually behind the one in front of them. Now the square left rhinos are the same as the white rhinoceros. I think here with this dude they call out square left rhinoceros instead of white rhinos. I did not see it, but there's also a third one in the back. We got common chimpanzee. Yeah, chimpanzees have a very nice habitat indeed. And they are somewhere on there. You can actually see one of them right there. And as you can see, the rest of the chimpanzees are right on that little board there. Right there. Black and white rough gleamer. Alright, the black and white rough gleamers are in, under there where it's nice and cool in the shade. Okay, but I currently don't really see the Cadillac or anywhere, so all I see are the lemurs and perhaps it might be too hot for them. Alright, I have a here. This is the place you know if you're in Tropical America. So we're gonna head in that direction and check them out. Now we're gonna check out into Australia. Here we got some Siamang. Alright, there's a Siamang habitat here. And I am trying to find him, so hopefully he's here somewhere. out right now because it might be a little hot for him but if I have time I will check back later to see if he's out if I have time. We got Mueller's Gibbon. That's the Mueller's Gibbon habitat which is actually right next to the Siamang habitat but I also do not see the Mueller's Gibbon anywhere now. I'm gonna try and look for him. Alright, so there's another side view in the Mueller's Gibbon. I don't really think he's out right now. So I'll try and check back clear if I have time to. And I got addicts. Alright, so all the addicts are in the shade right now where it's nice and cool. Oh, here they come, here they come. And there's the other one over there. This guy's got lots of space for them to walk around wherever they want to. Pretty decent size habitat. And got Gower. There's a Gower. There's a calf there. Little baby. This is mommy and daddy. more in the back laying down kind of look a lot like buffalo and some people who see these animals they accidentally mistaken these as buffalo but they are actually not buffalo they are completely different animals they kind of look very similar to buffalo but they're not buffalo Alright, the other side viewing of uh, the Gower. Much closer viewing of uh, the two of them that are laying down. Alright, 
I got a ring tailed lemur. Double crusty cormorant. Okay, so I don't really see the ring tailed lemurs anywhere right now. Well, I take that back. There's one right there. Just dumped down from the palm tree. Yeah, very nice habitat. It's all places for them to swing and climb around on. Okay, but I also don't really see the double crusted cormorant anywhere at the moment. We got Neil Guy. Oh, do you see the Neil Guy? She's right there. I can tell it's a female because it's tan. And she doesn't have any horns, and only the males have horns. Very nice antelope. And now you see the male nail guy. Right there, lying down in the shade. It's really hot today, so most of the animals are going to be in the shade where it's nice and cool. Got Sumatran orangutan. Alright, there's a Sumatran orangutan. That's actually the only orangutan I see right now. I think the rest of them might be inside because it's too hot for them. So they only let one of them out. We got Tawny Frog Mouth and Edward's Pheasant. I do see the pheasants right down there. You got one there. And there's a second pheasant right over there. Alright, currently don't see the tawny frog mouse anywhere at the moment right now. I guess he's probably inside the moment. Let me take back the back. The tawny frog mouse is right here in the second habitat. Very nice. We got kookaburra. The kookaburra right there. We got double waddle cassowary. And you see the double wattled cassowary is right over there. Just laying down. And these are closely related to the emu. And also one of the smaller relatives of the ostrich. We got magpie goose and double wattled cassowary chick. Nice. So these are baby cassowaries, two of them. Two of them. Alright, you see the magpie gooses right over there in the shade. Okay, Northern Greater Galago. There the Galago's right there. Got a long bushy tail. It's kind of cute. We got Matchy's tree kangaroo. Matchy's tree kangaroo is right over there. Also has a very long tail. Taking a nap. There's a second habitat, and there's actually a second tree kangaroo right up there to get a nap. It's really cute. His tail. Got a short big echidna. 
There's two echidnas right there. We got a much better view of the one in front of them. There's a basketball in there with some. Kind of look like porcupines. My short tailed fruit bat. Oh, they're flying everywhere. Some of them on the um, tree branch there. Flying all over the place. So there is no spotting guy for these animals, but I'm pretty sure that these are northern tree shrews. They're very active. Be active. Well, these are very fast animals. Okay, so there is a spy guy, but it only shows you the picture of this animal, but it does not say the name of this animal, so happen to know what it is, be sure to leave a timestamp comment down below. It looks like some type of marsupial, I think. I want to remind folks that there's a spy guy, it's called a sugar glider. I'm much better with a sugar glider. We got carpet python. Oh, the carpet pythons right there. They're very pretty markings. It's a pretty big snake. I was gonna get one. blue tongued lizard. Eastern blue tongued lizards right there. Oh, Eric, there's a sugar glider in here. It's sleeping. Look at it. See a nice looking lizard. We got another sugar glider in here. Do you see sugar gliders in there at the moment? He's actually right over here. You just can't see him, but he's there. A northern tree shrew. That's right about these animals. These are tree shrews, and they're the second habitat that has spine guide for them. Oops, they're also very fast animals, too. We got a quench monitor or a yellow monitor. And quench monitor is right up here at the glass. It's pretty big. Now western gray kangaroo. There's a kangaroos here. Them. All right, so here's the western gray kangaroos outdoor habitat for them. But apparently we just saw them. They're actually all inside. Here right now for the hornbill. Right, it's a very big habitat for the hornbill, but I don't see it anywhere right now. Massive habitat. It's also an aviary that you can walk right through so you can get a closer oh, yeah. view of it. We got saltwater crocodile. Uh, saltwater crocodile is right underwater there. It's pretty large. It's one of the largest crocodiles in the world. Look at the crocodile on land there. It's a much smaller one than the one underwater. Oh, 
walking around. We got Philippine crocodile. Alright, here's the Philippine crocodile habitat and I am trying to find him. I'm not sure if he's somewhere underwater or he's somewhere very well hidden. He's gotta be here somewhere. Okay, so far it does not seem like the Philippine crocodile is out right now. We got black swan. Okay, you see two black swans right there. find the gibbon but it does not seem like the pillated gibbon is out right now. I'm guessing it's probably too hot. But if I do have time I'll try and check back later if I have time to. We got Arabian Orac. There's all the Arabian Orac. There there. There's some of them there. Some of them there. We got Chilean flamingo. Mm, the flamingos. Some gulls in there with them. Sounds like we're very far from the ocean. Some very beautiful birds. I got the waterfowl. Okay, come on down you. A neotropic cormorant. And sandhill crane. There's all, all the ducks here. All the other different types of birds. But I currently don't really see the sandhill crane at the moment anywhere. I'm not sure if I'll be able to check back later. I probably won't. Here I'm showing you the map again. So we just did all this here. So we're somewhere right down here by the Galapagos tortoise and the flamingos. So I think we're gonna head up this trail here towards the capybara and capuchin monkeys and the macaws. And then once we're done with the green section here, we will head back to the Grand Hornbill and check out all these other animals that I missed the first time. Then we got the tropical American rainforest. We got capybara. I see the capybara right there. Largest road in the world. A giant guinea pig. And the second capybara in the back. We got capuchins. Right, you see the capuchins are walking around. Two of them there. Oh, he's running. You know, one is climbing down right here, up down the fence. Right there. It's all very nice habitat. Got a lot of places to climb on. Somewhere to go. A nice waterfall that runs through their habitat. We got bald eagle. You can see the bald eagles right there. Like an awesome bird. Another the reason why we see bald eagles is because they are injured and they cannot survive out in the wild. So basically, they are rescued by zoos. There's two more bald eagles over there. One's right back there. Oh, I'm gonna cause a parrot. This is got Macaw Canyon. These are all the Macaws and parrots that are in this habitat. And you see the blue and gold macaws right up there. It's a very pretty bird. 
with the military maca, another one of the blue gold macas. There's the, the military macaws up there on the rock there. Some pretty birds. And the Galapagos tortoise. Alright, the Galapagos tortoise. Pretty big too. We got one in the back. Mm, we got two more from over dinner. Mm, a much closer viewing of the Galapagos tortoises here. Oh, look how big that one is. Super big. Here we got King Vulture and Northern Crested Tara Tara. There's a King Vulture right here up close. There's a second King Vulture right up there at the top. I think he's about to fly. Maybe he's just stretching his wings. Okay, so right now I don't really see the crystal car car anywhere. I guess he's off habitat or he's just not in here at all. Tropical America free flight aviary. Mm, I believe these are probably the birds that we're just seeing the aviary here. Scarra uh, Ibis right there. She's a very pretty bird. Mm -hmm. There's Scarra Ibis right here. Just yeah, picking its mouth. Oh, blew up. Mm -hmm. We, um, other birds right there. There's the Roseate Spoonbill and the Ibis with them. Okay, there's a ring teal there. And that's Scarlet Macaw. And this other bird here that has its name written, I can't really tell what it says. You can see the Scarlet Macaw it's all the way in the back right now. It's a very pretty bird. A blue bellied roller. See the blue bellied roller right just up there. It's a colorful bird. We got Violaceus Turkow and Trumpeter Hornbill. Turkow up there at the top. And there's the trumpeter horn bell up there. Oh, wow. nice bird. No, the Scarlet Ibis and the Rosie's Spoon Bill at the top there. Alright, getting back to the Pinnelated Gibbon habitat, and they're out now. Two of them. We've got a male over right there and a the female, and they are sort of singing.
stop singing. Oh, never mind, it's still going. I came back to the Philippine crocodile habitat and I don't really see them anywhere right now. No. I'm gonna take that back. He is out. Something crocodile was right there. Hiding in the grass. Do not see him there. I came back to the waterfowl habitat. The sand hill crane's now out. It's a very big bird. Right, I'm showing you the map again. So we're in the light green section. We're gonna go ahead to the spider monkey. Then after that, we'll head up the trail towards the other species of crocodile and the flamingos. And then once we're done with that, we'll take this opportunity to go back to the other habitats that are not in our habitats that we saw the first time. If you did not see the animals the first time, then it's always good to go back a second time to see if they're out. All right, got the New World monkeys. All right, got black spider monkey. Mm, the black spider monkeys. There's a little baby there too. So cute. Mm, cool animals. Those really long tails. We got Mexican spider monkey. Mexican spider monkeys right there. Looks like it's a youngster over there. He's got an itch. Another one that is walking in the back there. We got snowy egret. We got Texas spiny soft shell turtle. Okay, right now I don't see the soft shell turtle anywhere, so it could be anywhere in this lake here. I'm gonna check out Realm of the Dragon. And dragons in Komodo. Alright, Komodo dragons. Alright, do you see the Komodo dragons right there? It's a pretty big one. Oh, I think I know from where are these got American flamingo and black bellied duckling duck. And there's the flamingo. Beautiful. And American flamingos are actually one of the more taller flamingos. They have the more pink in them. They're very pretty. White here. Must be arguing about who has the most pink feathers in them. Okay, so I do not really see the black bellied whistling duck anywhere at the moment. A Cuban crocodile. The Cuban crocodile is right in the grass there. See him. Right there. Got a very nice habitat. Nice water for him to swim in. Now around the coat crocodile. Now around the coat crocodile right here. It's pretty large. Much larger compared to the Cuban crocodile. Still in the water. Here we got a much better viewing of the Arabian Oryx and a close-up view of them too. Very beautiful. We 
where they look how look very similar to the looks of the Gimsbach. But they're actually white. But they look a lot like the Gimsbach. More to the same shape and size. But they're actually white and the Gimsbach are gray. We have the iguanas. We have green iguanas and West Indian rock iguanas. Here, right here, I'm trying to find them. And it's a very big habitat they have, so they could be anywhere. Okay, so it does not seem like the iguanas seem to be in here. Must be very well hidden, or maybe they're just not here at all. The yellowback diker. Yeah, I'm trying to find him, but it's not look like he's out at the moment. Uh, take that back. The yellowback diker is out. He is right there in the back in the shade where it's nice and cool. We got southern greater kudu. And apparently, the greater kudu is way in the back right now. Big animal. Alright, I came back to the African serval cat and I still don't see him anywhere. And I guess it's too hot for him, so this is what it looks like if you have not seen one before. And I came back to the lion habitat and the male lion's finally out now. Relaxing. Alright, came back to the Red Rough Gleamer habitat and I don't see him anywhere right now. The door to his nighttime habitat is open, so he's gotta be here somewhere. There's the other side habitat, the Red Rough Gleamer, and I does not seem like he's out at all today. It's probably too hot for him. This here is what the Red Ruff Gleamer looks like if you haven't seen one before, so there you have it. Alright, came back to the Siamang habitat to see if they were out, but hopefully they're in here somewhere, so I'll we'll try and find them. Alright, I looked everywhere, and it does not seem like the Siamang is out right now. Even though these are from Asia, and it gets pretty hot in the Asian jungles of where they're from. So they chose whether they want to come out or not, they chose to be inside, so... This is what they look like. Alright, so over here is another side viewing of the Bontabak habitat. So there's two of them right there. And I also do not see the Mueller's Gibbon anywhere. And I guess it's also inside, so this is what it looks like. And it came back to the Pelated Gibbon a third time and he starts singing. Oh, sounds like a little puppy. I came back to the spectacle bear habitat and it does not seem like he's out right now at the moment. So this is what the spectacle bear looks like if you haven't seen one before. And it might be too hot for him. I came back to the black bear habitat and he's laying down. Alright everyone, that concludes my full tour of the Gladys Porter Zoo at Brownsville, Texas. I had a fantastic time at this place. I saw pretty much almost everything at the zoo. However, there were some animals that I did not get to see because it was really hot. And it's so hot that this is actually by the United States-Mexico border, so that's why it's really hot here. But I still saw everything else at this zoo. And even though I did say it was a small size zoo in the beginning, but turns out I was wrong. It is pretty big, although I'm pretty sure it's a small size zoo. It just has a lot of animals at the zoo. So if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up and leave some comments down below if you like what you saw. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Please subscribe to my channel. Like I help people subscribe to my channel, help support my channel and my videos. 
I've already gained 38 subscribers and all my 2021 videos are uploaded any day of the week but my 2022 videos always upload them every Saturday or I would just upload my 2021 video the same day as one of my 2022 videos which is on Saturday so thanks for watching this video and I'll see you again next time bye